think before I could remember wanting to do anything else, I knew that I wanted to be in charge. <laughs> As a child, my mother didn't have a job where she was the boss. And I always looked at that and wished that she was the boss and that she did make her own rules. So from very early on, I felt like, you know what, whatever I do one day, I wanna be more in charge of my business. Two of the things that I wanted to leave behind was that I write my own raps. A man doesn't have to write down your thoughts. You're intelligent enough to write down your own thoughts. And number two, I would become a mogul. It's Nicki Minaj, Dirty Money, holla at your girl. Thanks for the love, I really do appreciate it. I exceeded every expectation I think people had for a rapper. I think black women are held to higher standards. A lot of pop culture takes from black culture and oftentimes doesn't really say they got it from black culture. You know, magazines are acting like they're just being done for the first time because it's on a white woman's head or it's on a white woman's body. And you have to get used to living in a world that doesn't even acknowledge that you did certain things. One thing I learned along the way in business is the necessity for you to be unapologetic about asking for how much money you deserve. At a very early stage in my rap career, I was making six figures for shows. If I heard there was another rapper making that, I thought, you know what, I get out there and command a crowd. I get out there and make my fans happy. I want that too. And I think women have the tendency to feel that they shouldn't ask to be compensated as much as a man doing the same exact thing. If you know you're great at what you do, don't ever be ashamed to ask for the top dollar in your field. I actually remixed Flawless with Beyonce. Whenever I do something with her, I can feel the impact. It just feels like young women are being empowered and inspired because I think it says a lot when you see two young women at the top of their field, whether they're black or white, it just means a lot when you see them owning who they are and owning the business and owning the industry and not taking no for an answer and not being apologetic for who they are. I think that it inspires women, young, old, black, white, whatever.